This week on Our Football, Rutgers launches a new era with the largest home crowd in school history. We celebrate the Big Ten moving to the East Coast and Rutgers' bright future in the prestigious conference. We also take a look at the academic benefits that go along with the Scarlet Knights' new home. And we get a message from Rutgers alum and Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara. play 10 to 15 years in the NFL, or it just doesn't work out and they never get an opportunity to play in the NFL, they're going to be very successful going forward in life. They're going to be good fathers. They're going to be good husbands. They're going to be good role models. They're going to, be, they're going to have a positive influence on society. And if they're fortunate enough to play in the NFL, that's great. But if they play 10 years and then they're done, you know, now they're 32 years old and they still have a lot of life to live. I, I want them to leave our program understanding that regardless of what their future holds, they're going to be really successful. Football is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health insurance partner of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. The Big Ten Conference for us as a football program is about having a streamlined path to the national championship. Are assembled in the tunnel and the crowd is coming to its feet. One, two, two, heaven! And they stopped them short. And this one is over. And intercepted by the Scarlet Knights.
there will be a day in the future when you say, I was there when it all began. When this proud program charged into the spotlight of college football. When we brought the Big Ten to the East Coast. So what do you need to know about us? We are at the heart of America with the biggest industries, entertainment, and sports in this great country. But at our core, we are family. This school is our identity. On the field, this is your team. We wear our emotions on our sleeve, and we battle until the last tick of that clock. We are here for our families, for our towns, for our state. On the banks of the old we are here forever. We are hard. And Big Ten, you are lucky to have us. The history of Rutgers is dynamic advancement and academic excellence. Established before the American Revolution, nearly 250 years ago, Rutgers was founded as one of America's nine colonial colleges. Today, Rutgers University is one of the country's premier public institutions. We see tremendous opportunities for Rutgers in the Big Ten. Becoming a member of the Big Ten Conference is the next chapter in our story. Our people are really excited about it. We're not asking that New Jersey move to the Midwest. The Big Ten is going to move to the East. We reflect the people of New Jersey. Work ethic, strong convictions, and integrity. Our school on the banks has become a member of what is now America's most prestigious academic and athletic conference. We're really very excited and very proud here at Rutgers. The Big Ten we think of as an athletic conference, but it's so much more for us. It's a group where our school fits in and where our faculty and our students belong. It's a group of large, public, research-intensive institutions that are the anchor institutions for their state. And that's what Rutgers is. All the current Big Ten institutions, along with the University of Chicago, are members of the Committee on Institutional Cooperation. Now we see the benefits for our academic programs that the CIC brings to bear, the additional exposure. It's an opportunity for the country and for the world to see Rutgers uh, in the light that it should be seen. When I think about Rutgers, I think about a great academic institution, first and foremost. The fabulous undergraduate population that they have, the tremendous research. We're now part of 15 of the biggest, most prominent of research universities in the country. The faculty as a whole now have an opportunity to interact with Big Ten faculty who are world-class in what they do, whether it's science or humanities or the arts. We already have students from Rutgers that are participating with colleagues from other universities that are part of the CIC. The Rutgers degree travels and competes around the globe for opportunities. We're in the top 10 for institutions that produce CEOs. We have a great diversity in our student body. We're living in an increasingly global society our membership in the CIC. It expands uh, opportunities for our study abroad program. We have 450,000 alumni. Many of them are right around here, but the rest of them are spread all over the country. There's a sense of pride in the institution that they see as their institution is right up there with the biggest and best in the country. This is a huge step for Rutgers. It's a point along a path towards the really top of the big time, like the Big Ten. Rutgers students, faculty, athletes, alumni, and friends. It's time for us to capitalize on the evolution of Rutgers. A great opportunity is upon us. 
collaborative academic resources, expanded research and development, greater student options, the biggest media stage for athletic competition, are why we can now call the Big Ten home, where our goal is not to follow footsteps, but to lead our university and our conference to heights once never thought possible. Rutgers, welcome home. Our football is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health insurance partner of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. It was one of the biggest nights in the history of Rutgers football, as years of dreaming became a reality. It was the dawn of a new era, a Big Ten conference game. Under the bright lights, it was electric. A wonderful atmosphere. It's been sold out for months here at Piscataway. They have piled into the stadium, and they are ready to get this one started. And here comes Rutgers. What a scene. What a night. What an atmosphere. The Rutgers defense played inspired football, holding Penn State in check the entire first half. They displayed power, purpose, and persistence. In what was an electrifying environment, the Rutgers faithful made things difficult for the Nittany Lions. They raised the stakes and the decibel level. as high as the quality of play, the voltage level off the charts. The fans inhaled the enthusiasm like it was New Year's Eve, and they did everything they could to try and rattle Penn State's quarterback. Longest spearheaded Coach Joe Rossi's aggressive defense with pursuit and pressure the framework for a unit that would not be denied. Opportunistic Lorenzo Waters made the pick, grabbing the moment by derailing a drive. A vital spoke in a defensive wheel that would not stop turning. Hackenberg in trouble, and Hackenberg is set. No chance. Watch it right here. He's ready to throw it. Uh oh. Hackenberg, pressure up the middle. Line and they seem to solidify. You get in the red zone, big third down, another.
another breakdown right up the middle. The Rutgers defense continued its stellar play before finally bending down the stretch. And although this night would not end in triumph, it showed that moments of grandeur are not far away. Our football is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health insurance partner of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. The Big Ten Conference for us as a football program is about having a streamlined path to the national championship. Are assembled in the tunnel and the crowd is coming to its feet. One, two, three, heaven! And they stopped them short, and this one is over! And intercepted by the score of the play a close game against a good football team and you win at the end like we did in the first game, there's exuberance. And then you play a close game and you don't win. The reality is in a game like that, it comes down to the fourth quarter. They made one more play than we did. Uh, my hat is off to them. Uh, James got a good football team. You have a crowd that uh, that came out like that. You talk about hostile environments. This is a hostile environment. I thought the game day environment here today was as good as any in the country. Uh, it was great, you know, it was great to see how much uh, support we had. The crowd was excited, it was electric out there. The crowd did a great job tonight and uh, you know, made it real it made it real easy to rally behind those guys. I think uh, the defense fed off of that. Second and 19, pressure up the middle and he just spikes it at the feet of Bill Belton. He wanted the screen to Belton with Andrew Nelson out in front, but that broke down quickly. Oh, credit Rutgers heads up play, they sniffed it right out, you know. The old thing you always tell those defensive guys, you know, if it looks like a rat, it smells like a rat, it's a rat. Looking at it on the field, I think we had a good defensive game plan. And I mean, I think we sacked him five times. I think it would be the same reason. I think we did a good job stopping them from running the football, that they had um, 33 rushes for 64 yards. And some of that was on quarterback scrambles. So I think we did a good job going into the game. I said, if we can make them one dimensional, we'll have a chance to get to him. And we did. Feel that we you know we did our thing. We, we went out there, we held them. You know, I mean it's tough, but you know what? When you get on the field, you got to put out the fire. That's what we always talk about on defense. You know, if time, an interception happens and you got to get on the field, just put in the fire out and then you know get to get the offense back on the field. That's our mission. My experience tells me that there's going to be games you're going to have to win that are high scoring, and there's going to be games that you're going to have to win that are low scoring, and, and you win them and lose them all as a team. And sure enough, you know, I go in the locker room. And I bring the team up, and the guy standing right in front of me is number 91. So I'm not a senior, but one of our captains. And it's that kind of leadership that I know is going to allow us to come through this on the other side. I've always said it, man. When you look at a team like Rutgers, we, we don't stop fighting. You know, we're going to fight. We're going to fight to the end. And unfortunately, it wasn't our day. You know, unfortunately, they made a couple more plays than we made. And uh, we got to go back to the drum board, and we got we to correct some things, man. But I never, I never question this team's fight. I love to see them today. Oh, my God.